Parents and teachers, do your students have the Squad app? Well, this is the hottest screen share video chat app where you can show things on your screen live with your friends. I wanna show you how cool this type of technology is and then how very dangerous it can be if you're not on these types of apps with your kids. We're gonna look at some really bad stuff predators are doing in this smartsocial.com app guide. I'm Josh Oaks. Now, TechCrunch, a leading blog in the technology space, says Squad is the new screen sharing chat app everyone will copy. My development team, says TechCrunch, is constantly sending each other screenshots and screen recordings. It seemed ridiculous that I can't just show you what's on my screen, explained Squad's CEO and co-founder to TechCrunch. But then came the wisdom of a 13-year-old. My daughter over the summer was bugging me, why can't I just show what's on my screen with my friends? Now Squad Marketing says, call your friends on any smartphone. Next shop with friends. Oh my gosh, OMG, that green dress is awesome. Next is view photos with friends and then watch videos with friends. And as you can see here, there's a way to, to basically use your computer and your screen live. As you've seen in a lot of my videos, we do it live, but you're doing it from all of a sudden phone to phone instead of on the computer. Now, what is Squad? Squad's a video chat app that lets friends share their screens with each other. Up to nine friends can video chat at the same time. Squad users can browse websites together, watch videos, scroll through social media feeds, or watch each other play games. Now users can talk and type messages to each other while screen sharing. They can also use fun photo filters. Now, Squad is rated ages four plus on the iOS app store. This is a huge mistake because there's a lot of other people on here that's very dangerous to trust the iOS app store ratings. Users must give the app permissions to access their microphone and their camera. This is creepy, my friends. Let's come back to this at the end of the slide. Users must also allow access to their phone contacts. The app's privacy claims the company only uses contact lists to help users find their friends and won't retain any contact info or share with third parties. You've seen on some of my other app guides, Marco Polo and some others, how they require this as well. And now Marco Polo doesn't require it. You can use the app without this, but this one, I, my team was awesome and they downloaded the whole app and did a great job. But on this one, we weren't actually able to use or I wasn't able to use the app because I wouldn't give it access to my contacts. I have a lot of contacts and I don't want to upload them. This is a personal note and I'm telling you how I feel as a leader in this industry. I didn't want to give them access to my contacts. Once you upload them, you can never get them back. I've also got a side note. One of the staff, actually both staff members who downloaded this said they got random phone calls from this app. Once again, a little bit creepy. You have to give it mic and camera access, give it no notification access, otherwise the app will not work. And that's the creepy part. Well, here are two different ways to connect on Squad. Users can search for a friend by name or username and call them directly in the app. Users can also invite a group of friends to join a new room. Users can share their squad chat room via third-party social networks and DMs. So you scroll up. Now, another thing is you can log in and register using Snapchat or your phone number. So that's another interesting point. And I'm not sure if, um, but yeah, using Snapchat. So it uses the Snapchat API. You can also join a party line with strangers. We're gonna talk about that in one second. Once connected, users tap a broadcast button to share their screen. Next, they can then browse the web together or scroll through social networks. You can see right here, you can overview and people are watching the web and scrolling through and reading things, right? Seems harmless so far, right? Well, let's talk more about it. Squad app in the news, how phone screen sharing could launch the new billion dollar industries. A new app is called Squad. Now lets users share their phone screens rather than face faces. The idea is to let your friends watch your screen in real time as you look for memes, create status updates, or even as you browse through hookup apps. The idea of doing activities with your friends online rather than in person is becoming more acceptable. Phone screen sharing options opens up a lot of exciting possibilities, says Entrepreneur Magazine. Parents, why should you care? It's easy to connect with strangers on this app. 
The app sends users suggestions to connect with friends and friends of friends, even if you don't know them. Anyone can join a party line. It's like a group chat with video watching other stuff. Users are asked to treat everyone with respect, but chats are not monitored. Now, this is why it's creepy as well. During our app review, my staff did this. They found this. They found uh, one party line with six much older men, mostly men, watching one young girl dance and sing songs in her bedroom, right? Random people watching a young girl. Squad does not offer any filters. There are no privacy settings to keep adults away from kids. Red flag. Once again, we're going to get to how you can keep your kids safe on this in a sec. But users can block individuals, but there's no way to avoid random invites from strangers. Parents, everything on a user's shared screen is recorded. So as you're sharing, it's recording, it's going to their servers. This includes any private texts or other notifications that might pop up on a user's phone while they're screen sharing. Users can share anything from the internet, which could easily expose students to inappropriate videos or images. Now, consider downloading a squad and using it yourself before deciding if it's appropriate for your students' parents. Next, discuss the dangers of connecting with strangers online and tell your kids not to accept friend requests from strangers. And then last, encourage your students to avoid party lines and to only chat with people they've met in person around the dinner table with their parents. They know from school sitting next to a class. That's what we call someone you know. Uh, students can vary things and go, but I know them. They go to a school and go to a school and go to a school that somebody knows, somebody knows. That's not your friend. Be specific and actionable on who our friends are. The rest, uh, they'll figure out. Encourage students to turn off their phone notifications when they're using Squad so no one will see their private notifications. I'd say be very careful regardless. Talk with your students about online bullying. Let them know they can always come to you or a trusted adult if they encounter anything inappropriate online. Key takeaways from my speeches as I travel the country. Parents should be on the same apps their kids are using. Reach out to us using smartsocial.com if you want to lead a Zoom presentation in your city. Don't let your kids sleep with their phones, parents. Consider making a social media agreement. We have an amazing course on the next page. Treat the phone like a car. You own it. You can take it away at any time or you can search it at any random. You have that right. Your children, in our opinion, do not have any form of privacy uh, because you are there to protect them, to parent them more than being their friend. Register your student for our next smart social workshop that I host twice a week to have them set up Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, screen time filters, and all kinds of other settings from a trusted outsider as you're in the room and we're motivating them to showing them why it's so powerful. I host these each week. They're about 15 bucks for the each individual course. But if you get them all for $100 for the year, $97, you also, your student gets an invite to our live workshops each Tuesday and Thursday at 2 p.m. As of the time of this, you can go to smartsocial.com to learn more and set up their apps and teach them how to shine online so that your student has a future. You go to smartsocial.com join to learn more. You also get access to our app, which is awesome. Every Tuesday and Thursday, all kinds of amazing parent-friendly techniques. I'm Josh Oaks. Thanks for watching this video all about squad. Please be on the same apps your kids are on. I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day, guys.